very good morning to all of you this is divya working as assistant professor in the department of ace rmk college of engineering and technology chennai in this video we are going to see a problem based on face lock loop under the type subject linear integrator circuits let's see the problem now the question is to determine the change in dc control voltage we see during lock if the signal frequency is 5 kilohertz and the free running frequency is 21 kilohertz and v2f that is voltage to frequency transfer coefficient of the vcvo is 4 kilohertz per volt this is the question given to us so let me write the data that has been provided to us we have to calculate the change in dc control voltage represented by del vc we have to calculate this data given to us is input signal frequency f s is given as 5 kilohertz and the free running frequency f not is mentioned as 21 kilohertz and then v2f transfer coefficient that is we call it as k suffix v voltage to transfer coefficient of vc was mentioned by the symbol k suffix v it is given as 4 kilohertz per volt so now we have to find lvc formula that relates kv and lvc is kv is equal to del fc by del vc that is change in frequency to change in control voltage so from this we can easily calculate del vc which is equal to del fc by kv so in the question kv is directly given to us del fc is not given to us so formula for del fc is difference in the frequency difference is frequency is f not minus of fs so we have to take a mod term why because we don't know which frequency will be higher divided by kv so for us we have 21 kilohertz minus of 5 kilohertz divided by kv value is 4 kilohertz per volt so what we have for kv is 21 kilo minus of 5 kilohertz we have 16 kilohertz divided by 4 kilohertz per volt 16 divided by 4 gives me 4 kilohertz kilohertz will get cancelled and we have 4 volt so this is not actually kv this is actually del vc so change in control voltage required for us is 4 volt so when the voltage to frequency transfer coefficient is given to us and one parameter either change in frequency or change in voltage is given to us we can calculate the third parameter so i hope you understood how to calculate the change in control voltage required thank you all we'll meet again in the next video